Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars. It's the Space Race Expansion, and we are Japan. And there is lots of dust storms and apparently incredibly, incredibly deadly meteor showers. <sighs> Luckily, we're past that right now, and things are going okay. I will feel very comfortable once we set up our new dome over here, and we have our metal attractor going on. Um, even if we don't get the electronics factory up and running, at least we'll have some way to make a little bit of cash. Although, Japan is one of the factions that does give you the least amount of money for trading rare metals. So, in practice, we will want to get the electronics up uh, very, 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 very quickly. So, we're building up this dome. Uh, we're sending some rockets back home. Oh, good. We got another dust storm coming. Uh, we got a lot of warning. I don't know what we're going to do about that, other than make sure we've got ludicrous amounts of water and oxygen stored up, which is accumulating right now. Eh, slowly. We actually don't have... Um, what, 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 what is with these squares? Huh? Oh, is this just showing me my water system? Oh, hey, I haven't actually done that before. That's quite cool. And clicking on that shows me some of these places where that's stored. Ha ha ha. Well, there you go. Learn something new every day. Um, power, I think, won't be the issue. I don't think there's anything with the dust storm that's really going to screw that up. I mean, I don't think our solar panels work during that, but our wind turbines work better. We might want to have more wind turbines. Um, and we might want to make sure that everything is 100% charged up. Kind of like the idea we might go and squeeze in some more wind because we haven't built any of that in a while. And admittedly, the maintenance for it is a little bit harder with the actual machine parts, of which we don't have very many. But I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna put at least one. I'm gonna tuck that one in very conveniently. And that's gonna be good, and we can always put more solar panels down there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And that's probably all right. Crossing our fingers. But yeah, machine parts, which now we're going to use for that, we're going to need some for the um, the rare metals extractor as well. So this rocket's almost there. Uh, I don't think Safety we're going to do another scan. trade. Like, money is still going to be a bit tight. We'll, we'll send as many machine parts as we can with this one. And then the next rocket, which is still fueling up over here, we are going to use you for colonists. And there might be extra repairs having to go on over here. Uh, let's go and get that set up for the soybeans and this. What does the cover crops do? Oh yeah, huge soil um, improvement. But we'll do the soybeans to sort of split the difference. I don't know. Just because we're, we're a little lower on food now. Maybe we wouldn't even want to do that right now. Uh, heavy load, that's going to be okay. We will at some point build more actual shuttles here, but we don't have the material for it at this time. Um, you are ready to take off, so please do. Wait, what? So Connors is going to watch the launch. The anticipation is quickly replaced by concern as the engine spit dust and smoke, but the rocket refuses to get off the ground. The rocket has failed to launch. We believe the problem lies in the ratio of liquid oxygen to liquid methane. We have compensated the issue, but it's highly recommended to perform a full maintenance on the rocket, which costs five machine parts. Um... Oh my. I don't have the machine parts. I mean, we could simply not... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to risk losing the rocket. What could possibly go wrong? I wonder if we get a spectacular explosion here, if it's just like on route, on route, there might be an issue. Uh, cross your fingers. Still going now, so that's something, but we'll see. Okay, you're there. Technically, you got some workers. It's interesting. We'll probably want multiple uh, work ships and whatnot as well. So um, I used to run a mod to have like smarter workers and like moving of dome to dome. I don't know if that's something that you still need to run. We I don't know if they decide to keep oh, we've got starvation officially happening. Our colonists are starving. Yeah, well we do have some food. I think it's just a question of having the food in the right area. So shuttles need to move things around, Scooch. <sighs> Rare metals production is a go. And that's something. We got one whole one over there. Is that food? Nope. Hmm. And that's off for now, which I'm okay with. A little extra power. Oh, yeah, water! I was going to do water stuff, and then we got distracted. Um, oh, I can't build moisture vaporators. Hey, 
you. Well then. There is more water over there. It's really like low amounts. We might just go and build a second extractor. Which of course is going to put more um, load on our machine parts job. But I think that's what we're going to have to do. Do that. And that like that. And then we've got food shortages. I, we don't liter legitimately have like not enough food going on here. Um, we are going to get some harvest soon. Which will help a lot. I don't know, I think we'll be okay. Alright, so we have a rocket here now. Cargo rocket, what we need is maximum machine parts. It's only 15, it's not much. I guess we could ship a little food for a little bit of extra cash. Or some drones to replace some of the ones we've lost, which wouldn't be bad. Um, I may as well go ahead and grab some food. And launch that. Leak detected? Well, that's handy. That's good. We need, you know, we need more terrible leaks and problems and things like that. Um, because we, you know, we have lots of water stored up in excess. So you'll get built, assuming we've got the machine parts, which, and you know, we have a little trickle in. At least this is built now, although it does need maintenance to keep it working, which is far from ideal. <sighs> Come on, baby. You can do it. You're coming there, you're going there, and yeah, we'll, we'll fill you up with people. Um, although right now we don't actually... Oh no, we have vacant work slots. Not very many. Hmm. We're on, a, we're on the cusp of being good. We just need a scooch more resources. I like, go and ask for more help. We'll start running covert ops, but we need shuttles for that. And we might lose a shuttle. We don't know. Hopefully it'll make it home okay. A little bit of growing starting here. Yeah, I really want to get the fertility up, and then I want to get in the, the potato-soybean cycle. Sector scanned. <laughs> Just to keep it at max. I don't know. You know what? I bet you people have gone and worked out the optimal farming ratios. It might, it might turn out it's not like, you know, a combination of potato-soybean. Um, it might be, you know... Just get it to 100% and then run wheat or something like that. I don't know. A few more rare metals, which we could sell. Although, again, ideally, what we want. You know, I guess I'll start building it. There's the small one. And per shift. We could have a small one and just work all three shifts. But here we get triple the amount of production for only double the maintenance. No, I think we build the big one. It's going to be okay. I'll try to leave some space over here for a tunnel. Actually, hold on. I'm going to cancel you. I'm going to build it here. Because we might consider a tunnel going out this way, too. I don't know. And they lose a little sanity every time they go outside to work there. And yeah, they are low on food. I mean, we're legitimately low on, on food. Um, okay. Passenger rocket. 20 people. Sure, that's fine. There is going to be a harvest real soon. Oh, there we go. 51 food. Just kicked in. So we did get a harvest. There we go. And I was going to say there's going to be a second one as well. So I think think we're going to be okay. We just have to get the food over here so these guys don't, like, starve out and die forever. Um, <laughs> die forever! As opposed to die for just a little while. Yeah, we're still low on lots of different material. We need electronics to be able to build the electronics factory. That's right. So it's one of those chicken and egg problems. And we don't, we don't have any coming. Alright, what I've got to do, I've got to cancel the electronics um, building production. We gotta keep the electronics we have to do maintenance. We're gonna have to sell some of our um, rare metals that we're grabbing for something else. Uh, you have any negative power here. We don't. We're not dust storming at this time. So a bit of a problem at night. We might need to go and get more wind turbines then, which sucks because you know there's maintenance on that. go. 
get a trio of that started. Oh, what are we going to do? Hey, did some of our rare metals go away? Oh, they're being loaded onto the shuttle. Which is going to be fine. I can't remember if we get 20 or 25 million for each one. I mean, it's something. We have a food shortage. We don't actually have a food shortage. We have a transportation shortage. Shuttle load, heavy. Yeah. And yeah, I'm going to want to run multiple ships here. We don't have the people for it. Vacant work slots as is. And this dome is not going to have a high level of comfort. We're going to have to do something about that soon, too. We might want to wait until this is 100% full of rares before we send it somewhere. I suppose, meanwhile, we could run some covert ops somewhere. Colonists, technologies, drones. I think our drones are not compatible because we have hover drones. Ask for help and then... Did we, did we lose the goodwill with them just by hitting that button? We might have. Whatever. Steal technologies then. Go. They might start, you know, coming after us. We might have war with some of these people. Sector scanned. Research complete. Alright, research complete. The Hawking Institute, which I would like, but it takes a lot of electronics to build. Everything is terrible. Officers, but we have officers that's going to be okay. Forty buildings not working. Missing rover. Shows on the static rover's GPS tr uh, tracker shows an error. Lost contact with the rover is the RC Explorer number one. We believe the problem is caused by the dust storm. Hopefully, we'll be able to locate it once the storm's over. Send out drone search. No, we we can wait. Don't we have six center towers? Okay, so the dust storm has started. Right, so all of our shuttles have stopped working. Moisture evaporators have stopped working. I don't know if we have enough stored up for this. I'm very concerned. And you can't launch right now. Because of the dust storm. So no covert ops at this time. We do have power, which is good. Leak detected. At least my drones are still working. Oh, they, they're no longer in fly mode. Oh, that's cool! Oh my! It's the little thing! I can't believe they actually, like, did that. So the drones revert down to ground mode during the storm. Interesting. Alright. Well, I guess that's gonna be okay. Um... You have two rockets. One's... Oh, great. Right. Can't land during the dust storm. Okay, that's fine. I was a little confused as to who was what and things. And you're waiting for your payload, um, which won't happen because the security officers are over here and we don't have the shuttles working. I mean, in theory, they could walk from one to another with the tunnels, but they may not want to because it's so far. So, yeah. We can, we can afford to run a little mission here with this. And we're going to crew um, rare metals. Hopefully get up to the... Uh, the 30 in storage, that would be nice. Oh, we might open a second shift on this. And I think that we gotta do a lot more of that rather than build more things, but... Um, we, we don't have the workers. We don't have any unemployed workers anywhere. We'd be stealing workers from something else, and that would be... Uh, I mean, that will be okay. And the thing is, I can't get a second shift here. Because there's not enough people in this dome. I might... I don't know if I can tunnel to anything here. Part of me is wondering if it might be worth just dismantling this dome completely. Get all the material back. So it looks like we don't have the button for it now. I'm wondering if we emptied everything, if we might be able to. At least destroy all the buildings. Get as much material back as possible for, like, quote-unquote, like, more real domes. Still have this leak here. We might not have the material to fix it over here is part of the problem. But the dust storm is going to end soon. At least one of the things of the dust storms, while they are devastating, they don't last long. Sector scanned. All right. So we need a bunch of new people. 
And since we are going to get new people, I will go and prep this extra shift here. Night shift... Yeah, they'll lose sanity if they work during the night shift. So we might not want to do that. Oh, and you do actually have more people ready to go. Okay, that's good. We're storing up the rare metals. There we go. Storm is over. You're running a mission, which is great. Then we'll land this over here. As soon as the shuttle's gone, this will snap. There it is. And land. And bring new people to the party. So we have a lot of vacant work slots. But we're going to have 20 more people coming our way. Missing rover. Satellite image shows our missing rover. Completely shut down and covered in pile of Martian dust. From what we can tell from the cameras, rover suffered a critical malfunction. No idea how it ended up current location. Need to send drones to repair a functioning rover. Milestone Interesting. Achieved. All right, we'll send an RC commander out there. I don't know if you need New material to fix it. No, I think arrived. just drones. Uh, 100 colonists. We get some free scientists. Great. And then we've got some more colonists. Yep, okay. I guess that's one of the things. If we seek out more of our milestones, we can get more free science. And we've got sponsor goals as well, which I keep forgetting about. Uh, once we get the electronics factory, that'll give us a Mars Un Martian University prefab. If we have 40 Martian-born specialists, um, we get more free science. Okay. And these are things that are happening. We still have no electronics. But we do have some rare metals, okay. And we do have some unemployed people. They might shuffle around a little bit, though. It might be okay. Uh, successful covert ops. Oh, so you don't steal a technology, you just steal tech points. Still, though, that's pretty good. Cancer Research in the Initiative. I don't know what this is going to do for us. I'm wondering, we might just have to, like, grind a bunch of Martian patents. Oh, yeah, it gets more expensive every time. Um, maybe a couple of goes at it. Just for a little bit of cash. Hopefully we get some sort of big cash reward for doing the cancer thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if we're actually going to cure cancer. At least, you know, move the research up. That would be good. So you're going to need maintenance soon. We don't have a lot of machine parts. As soon as you're refueled, you'll go. Um... So you're now repaired. Good. Okay, but you did study the anomaly, so I think... Or you didn't, actually. Can you... How come you're idle? Go and scan that. Hmm. A little confused. Uh, I'm gonna just park you over here. And then you are ready to launch. Uh, we have a little bit more rare metals that can be loaded on before we launch there, though, buddy. So let's go ahead and do that. And then you're ready to land. Oh, these are my three passengers coming back from their uh, their mission. Right, right, right. And one more rare metal. Well, I mean, I guess it's always going to say one more. Oh, closed trade route. No longer offering um, metal for food. That's okay. We don't want metal for food anyway. Oh, wait. Repairs are completed. Rover lights and telemetry swings to life. Rover is up and running once more. Sensors capture a ton of data on the dust storms and most extreme conditions in Martian environment. Ooh, 5,000 science. Okay, cure for cancer. Everyone on Mars is standing tall today, filled with great pride. The battle in the war against cancer has been won. Humanity hasn't discovered the cure for a horrific disease yet, but we managed to make progress. Our colonists are proud we are part of this initiative. It's just 10 morale for the next five souls. Well, that could have been, you know, a lot better. All right, let's launch you. Especially since we have another one waiting to, to land anyway. Dang. Okay, we'll get a little bit of money. We'll get the Martian patents kicking in as well. Um, and then we'll have to buy a bunch of electronics, because we have zero, to build the electronics factory. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go and, and plop it down again over here. Um, it's not going to get built because it needs 15 electronics to build, but we're going to try to bootstrap that. Okay, you guys are unemployed. Um, so yeah, it won't get built, so we won't have a bunch of workers there. It won't use up any of our power either, which is good. What we probably want to do over here is get a few basic services, though. Um, let's see here. Um, a diner. A grocer. Maybe an infirmary. Like that, leaving that space open for a tunnel. 
So yeah, so I just have to lay out these the, the smaller triangle buildings uh, slightly differently to leave room for the tunnel, which is going to be a-okay. All right, so you'll get some rare metals as well. And it's a little unfortunate to not just convert these to electronics, but we'll have to do what we can. Um, and yeah, we still need, um, we're going to need another proper machine parts Factory factory scan. in the not too distant future, because we do not produce enough of that. And we can't double shift the one we've got. Maybe we can somehow get a tunnel out of here, but I don't know. We only have one metal mine going on, too, which is currently okay, but at some point that'll become a bit obsolete. Research complete. Martian patents, good. So we had a big head start on that. We'll get a second one going as well. I'm okay with that, especially since we might have to ship some more machine parts down here temporarily, because otherwise we're going to have a lot of things start to break down. The amount of maintenance we're doing is is pretty high. We don't have a Hawkins Institute yet, and I would like one. I think the plan is to put one over there, but again, tons more electronics. Big bottleneck. I guess we could steal resources. So you're slowly charging, which is fine. Uh, stored power is pretty good. I think we've got a good buffer of things. I'm fairly pleased with how that's going. Uh, we do have some unemployed. Maybe what I'll do is... Oh, well, we don't have machine parts. Never mind, I don't want to turn this on. I don't want to use machine parts to build it, and I don't want to have something else that needs machine parts as a maintenance. Uh, you're ready to go, so please do. And this one's about to arrive home. With a few exports, and with the patents, we're going to send you back here with electronics. If we can get at least 15, we'll get this up and running. I'll actually set this as a high priority so that the electronics come here as quickly as possible. Um, this dome still has lots of vacant residence slots, so we'll prob we might want to do another passenger thing soon. Not that I know if we have a lot of applicants at home. I don't know if we're getting a lot of Martian babies either. We get need to get I'm our clinics up a lot more. Okay, cargo rocket. Electronics. Okay, 35. Do I want to send any machine parts, or... I'm thinking I actually just want to go crazy with electronics right now. Maybe a little... Yeah, that's probably safer. Okay. Because we'll run out, like, so many things need the machine parts. And that one dome really isn't cutting it for us. Do we have, um, more metal mines anywhere? We've got some here. How are you? Average, 800. Okay. There's still plenty left in here. It's low grade, so it comes in slower, but at least it's still coming. And that's it. There's no more metal over here. And that's the only other one we know, at least until we get the deep scanning going. And actually, speaking of scanning, we do need more of that going on. Um, and Explorer Rover. Well, you can get there. You'd have to take the long way around. Okay, well, I mean, we'll certainly be building a tunnel up there at some point. So maybe I'll just, uh, I'll just wait. I don't know. You know what? No, screw you. You're going to go and end up over here. Because you should be able to do that, and then I'll, I'll keep sort of manually doing the work over here. So we're waiting for electronics. High priority, so they'll get first crack at it. And yeah, we will need some more people here too. We still need to build a children's dome. Like, we don't have a school... I don't think... I don't think so. We have, you know, some amount of comfort for... Sector our people. Scan. Like, 72 is pretty good. I think that, that makes babies. Um, no relaxation. Is this not a relaxation building? Yeah, but it's full all the time. I could probably give us another little um, beauty building over here. I mean, they're they're basically free to build because they're just concrete. Plus, we can get something later that raises the comfort of the dome, or the decorations like this increase the comfort in the entire dome. And that'll be pretty good. So, more consistent relaxation exercise playing. They don't have to walk back and forth, which might save some amount of time. Farms are farming. Food is not huge, but is there. You're farming that, which is also okay. All right. And yeah, hopefully we've got some applicants. We might have to um, change our um, our selection protocol for applicants. But criteria, filters, one of those. One of those words. How come a bunch of you aren't working? Prob oh, okay. Well, you don't have access to drones, so we'll take one of these little drone cars over here, so that the drone hub can be repaired. But the problem is that you're going to be short on machine parts. We do have 
some machine parts. So yeah, you will work soon. Rare metals, a little bit more money, and that means we've got a rocket over there. So if I wanted a passenger rocket, and we got 10. Okay, we allow children. We don't allow seniors. I feel like that's still okay. Cause malfunctions. I'm gonna stop banning lazy people. They work slower, but they still work. But chronic condition's really poor. An idiot is is also really bad. Quirks, we can start allowing tourists, actually. They give us money. They leave. They do like gambling, which we don't have. But they should successfully return to Earth. On, so they do it on just some random rocket. I think that should be okay. We'll have to feed them, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to get this, this tourist me uh, mechanic working. There we go. So we got drone coverage again, and then hopefully we'll fix the drone hub ASAP. Oh, you need electronics for the drone hub. Yeah, and then you don't have anything over here. Okay, uh, that's you there, that's you there. Um, we're going to need to make sure that this area is working so we can get the electronics up. Now that we've got electronics! There, okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so you're here. So you'll cover this. You'll be able to repair the drone hub, and you'll be able to build the electronics factory. Which is good. We got some food. Yeah, shuttles are working hard. No power at night. That's okay. What we'll also do is we need to have high priority in the electronics factory so that it gets repaired before everything else. Otherwise, we'll get a cascade of failures. <clears throat> Polymers are still coming in at a pretty good clip. Like, at some point, we'll have to build more polymer factories, but right now, it's groovy. Done. Yeah, we'll do this. I mean, right now, we don't have enough people to run more than one shift, so yeah, we'll just leave the one on. That's going to have to be okay. You'll need the rare metals. And you are first priority, so you should get it first. Um, we've got everything, so we've got a Martian University prefab. That's nice. I will be very excited to build another one. Maybe I shouldn't have built the first Martian University, to be honest. It's, it's, it's had a lot of maintenance. That being said... Um, we are making a lot of specialists, and that's good. There's a thing for, for educating Martian-born. That's a milestone for Japan here. I think we'll be okay. All right, so we'll still have you here. Building's not working. Oh yeah, those are just, you're full and whatever. It's concrete, and it's the electronics factory, so that's okay. That's actually 100% fine. I'm okay with this. Low storage of electronics. Yeah, we, we had to use them right away for some maintenance. But, oh, we have a full group of people Sector here. Scanned. Nice. And then, so no one's unemployed. We just have vacant work slots. Yeah, we'll like to open this up at some point. But we can wait a bit more. Do you still have vacant residential slots? You do, which is good. Um, so actually, I'm wondering. And we need this to be gone. Okay, no. I think it's okay. We're not going to put on the second shift yet. That's going to be fine. You're going to go and take off. You've got some rare metals, which is okay. And then you're coming with my people. Which will drop here. I mean, they'll move around depending on requirements, but that's going to be a good start. At some point, I might want to unlock this. We've got some machine parts again, which is good. We've got enough material. We could build the second dome, the partner dome over here. Hmm. Which is going to be good for research. Now that we have electronics being produced. I mean, the comfort's not going to be huge here. Have arrived. Can at least get that down. Um, and we do have the material. You know what? There you go, you're full there. Let's unlock you. Keep the rare metals going so that we can keep getting more money and enough material to keep our electronics factory going. Although I think that part will be fine. Resources but yeah, an excess of, um, of rare metals so that we can keep trading would be excellent. Uh, a little clinic here would be great. Maybe I'll make a child dome like over here. All right, because again, we're, we're, we're leaving some room here for a little tunnel. So a dome that's got, you know, um, 
schools and playgrounds and things like that. And then we'll put on the filter to preferentially get the kids to go over there. Power still being hammered. I mean, we still have tons in storage. You know, we've got a day-night cycle thing. Uh, yeah, you can just go right away. I think it's okay. I mean, I realize that means we're not going to export more of this, but it's... Uh, it's all right. I'm going to turn on both shifts for this, too. Keeping in mind that is going to hit us in the power. So, I wonder, can I fit a medium dome over here? Yeah, I can, actually. Like, I couldn't quite conveniently set up a medium dome here. But we can here. We've got all the concrete in the world. Metal is still okay. And yeah, polymer's also fine. Uh, we might not want to cover up this concrete site. Although, is it really a big deal? Maybe not. Um, the dust area... Uh, I think if we're doing this, we're mostly avoiding it. And we're not really covering the concrete if we need to work it. Is it do I have a preference as to where the connection is? Actually, something like this is probably better, because it'll make it easier to fit the tunnel. Yeah, I can live with that. Although, hang on. We don't have people. Right, we'll check the shuttles, but I'm willing to bet we can't get enough people to fill this out. And that's what we need, is just more people. Um, we don't have a clinic here. Oh, no, no, we have an infirmary. That's going to be okay. And the infirmary still lower minimum work comfort for births. Okay. Comfort is there. Drinking, gaming, gabbling. Service buildings are full. Shopping. Yeah, but that's okay. It still exists. But you don't have one for drinking. Sector scanned. And Funding I think we'll set you one up. You've got um, the small space bar. I think I like that. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to leave that tile open for leading out. We did export a little bit more metal, so we can import some more things if it turns out we need it desperately. So far, so good. A little R&R &R over here, which is going to be nice as well. Okay. Where metals is accruing, and it's going to accrue faster and faster. we got a good number of geologists, apparently. So that's nice. Uh, a little bit of a work mismatch, but that'll probably correct itself as some people move around. Work slot, vacant residential slots, almost a one-to-one -one ratio. Not quite, but it's going to be okay. Ludicrous amounts of concrete are still with us. Uh, we don't have a dedicated electronic storage, but I don't know if we need one. Because each one of these can hold quite a bit, like 30 electronics. We've got a lot of universal storages all over the frickin' place. And this stuff's going to have to be scattered all over, so that's going to be okay. Not the food storage, which is good. And you are working this, which I'm okay with as well. Soil quantity is going up to 60%. What are we looking at here? 70 and 70. Are low. That's good. We're still low on electronics, but they're being made. That's the important thing. I think we'll be okay if we mouse over this. Production is 3, maintenance is 1.9. Resources are low. Yeah, so it's not too shabby. Working on another patents, and I'm, I'm okay with this. I mean, we're nearly done, so we may as well do it. Um, and that'll give us a little bit more of a money buffer, which is good. Martian-born don't take sanity loss from disasters is great. There's the decoration increased comfort. And if we want to have babies, like, more comfort, more better. It's really expensive to research, though. There's the... This is cheap. Farms increase the comfort of all residences in the dome. We're going to go ahead and throw that down, because that'll be really handy. And we do have some more cheap things we could unlock. I think I actually may grab the magnetic filtering here. We may, Whether or not we decide to upgrade our moxies will depend a little bit on the material. But the advantage to the upgrades, um, if they're not upgrades that take a lot more power, is that um, while you do have to spend more resources like installing the upgrade, the maintenance stays the same, which is really, really, really important. I don't believe we have any... Uh, dumping sites Oops. for these guys. So let's go. And get some of that here. And I don't know if we need it, but I will put down a 
rare metals storage spot. Um, right here. Between these two. And that'll be okay. And I don't expect we'll end up with a huge stockpile of rare metals. Oh, maybe. And maybe we want to move it somewhere else. I mean, this is the, the closest for these guys. But honestly, everything's coming from this thing. Anyway, hold on. Let me um, remove you. Put you right here. Because it's close to the drone hub. It's also close to this launching pad. And the electronics as well. I'm kind of okay with this. Right, double shifting that. No night shifts to keep sanity up. Um, a second shift here would be nice, but we don't actually have the workers for it. Or any, and we don't we don't have a lot of specialists for it either, meteor unfortunately. Incoming. Meteor incoming. Oh! That's Mac. Now, that's not a meteor storm. That was just a random meteor. We have plenty of material. Our, our polymers are going great. Research complete. We are leaking like crazy. Martian patents are done. Good. Um... We still don't have a lot of electronics or machine parts. I would like a bigger buffer. Okay, we do have a shuttle ready to go. I want to check passengers. Yeah, six more. I mean, it still might be worth doing, to be honest. Scientist shell. Sure. And then... I think I'm more worried about the machine part production than the electronics right now. So we will launch that for some extra resources, and I'm going to be okay with that. And this seems like a good place to put in a cut, so I will do that now. Okay, I think we've gotten through the very, like, scary production bottleneck. We have a trickle of everything coming in. We, we need a, a better solution for the machine parts. That's going to be okay. What I'll do, maybe I'll keep this dome around. This is in, oh, it's in the the beauty range unless this becomes the baby dome unless this becomes the beauty the baby dome well actually the vista makes this maybe the baby making dome if we start getting sexy people something to consider okay we'll put a cut in here and we'll come back next time and i'm really excited to get this dome up but we, we don't have the people it's really unfortunate but like we can't and like we've got all these plans for things but we just won't have the staff for any of it but um, better than having people sitting around being unemployed. That's pretty miserable. Everything's going down right now because we got a leak. But we've got some food, which is good. And I think our food situation is going to be more or less stable. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.